What is going on guys? Welcome back to our EverQuest Adventures. Wrecked you here. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Now today I want to show you guys how we can recharge an item. Uh, there are certain items in the game that have clicky effects and they only have a limited amount of charges. And once those charges have all the way been used, then you can't cast that spell with that item anymore. And you'll have to either get a new one or recharge it. Now I don't know if all clicky items are able to be recharged. I'm not sure if they are. And some aren't even... Um, worth the cost it takes to do it rather than just going to buy or, or um, farm a new one. But in our case, for certain items, we do want to recharge. And this is something I'm doing often right now because Canark just rolled out two three weeks ago or so on the green Project 1999 server here, and I love to solo and experience grind in Howling Stones. Now, in the first six to eight months of the Canark expansion, the Howling Stones and the Sebelus Keys, they're not soulbound. So if I die in those dungeons, I don't have a key on my body that I can get back into the zone to get my body back. And a zone like Howling Stones is not very frequented. Um, there's not a lot of people there, especially compared to Sebelus. So it might be uh, a long time before you can find a cleric in there to be able to get your body and be able to res you. When keys aren't soulbound, the corpse recoveries and howling stones are bad enough. So to help this as I'm soloing down there, I'm using a Leatherfoot Raider's Cap, which gives me an instant teleport to West Common Lands anytime I get in trouble. And when I'm soloing down there over you know a couple hours in a day each day, about once a day I'm using that Leatherfoot Cap to evacuate a bad situation rather than risk it at all. Um, so I'm having to recharge this re this cap quite often. And so I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that. Now the base idea of this is on Charmed You, I have a Leatherfoot Raider's Cap with zero charges. I've used it. Um, it only has a max of one charge. So what we need is we need a second item, a second of the same item that has a fully charged um, cap. So I have a second character my bard here who has his Leatherfoot Raiders cap with the one charge on it. Now we're going to go find a vendor in the game who has less than 40 items in their base inventory. And you can just, when you go to sell something, you can count how many are there. The, the vendors who only have like 10 or 5 items are the best because 40 is kind of the max. If you sell something to a vendor with 40 items already in their inventory, you won't be able to purchase it back within that list. Now, if it has 5 items in their inventory and you sell them something, that item will be listed right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our bard here with the fully charged cap. We're going to sell that cap to the uh, vendor. We're going to log out, log into Charmed You. We're going to sell the cap with zero charges to the vendor, buy back the cap instantly. That cap will then be recharged. I will log out and then back into Melody here and buy my cap back. So instead of having to buy a new Leatherfoot cap at 500 to 1,000 plat or whatever they're going right now, we can recharge this for around 180 plat because it costs about 90 plat, I believe, to get um, the cap back. And every one of the clicky items have a different cost to recharge. So sometimes those items aren't worth recharging, like I said earlier, rather than just farming a new one or buying one in the East Common Lands. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in. Now there's lots of vendors out there who have low inventories. Um, this is one I'm just sitting at right now. You can see how many they have and she actually has a few more items she usually doesn't. She usually doesn't have these top four, five. She would only have the spells. Um, okay, so I need to go in. Here's my leather foot. Now as you can see, if I right click, it has a charge, one charge. Not sell for nine silver. There it is right there on the vendor list. Now I need to log out and then just cross your fingers. No one <laughs> comes and buys the cap while you're doing this. That's also why you want to kind of sometimes look for like a secluded area. If you've ever been in a high-end guild, 
then you'll have certain time, uh, days of the week or month that you do this and you go somewhere where no one's at because you don't want people coming in. Because you'll also have really high end puppet strings, um, you know, those type of items that cost something like 20,000 plat to recharge puppet strings. Where this will be a ninety dollar each time, a ninety plat each time, um, that would be like a ten thousand plat each each way. And sometimes logging in and out, I will crash. Okay, here's my cap here with zero charges. I'm going to sell, but you can see it in the list there. Sell. I'm going to buy back instantly at eighty nine plat. Here it is, and now we have one charge. So you can see we just recharge it. Now I just gotta go buy back the cap for my bard to have the fully, the, the base one as my recharge start. And then we are good to go. I can get back into Howling Stones and have everything uh, back into that safe conditions. So guys, that is how you recharge an item. Again, you can do this very simply with a buddy instead of having to log in and out because sometimes if you're logging in and out like this, at least for me, I will sometimes crash <laughs> logging back in, maybe this time on the BARD or something. So that can at least get your heart racing because you're scared someone might go buy your item. Um, but overall, very simple system, very powerful stuff. Lots of clicky items, especially if you're doing the solo enchanter game like me that is something you're going to really want to have. So you see we bought it, it's off the list now too, because those two were the only ones in our inventory. Um, but again, soloing as an enchanter, you're gonna have clicky items you're gonna wanna use, especially if you're doing really big names and big bosses and scary, risky stuff. And like right now, I'm trying to avoid dying as much as possible. One, because I don't want the corpse recovery in the dungeons I'm, I'm fighting in. And then two, also I'm grinding the 60 right now. So any experience loss um, avoidance is you know what we're going for. So guys, hopefully this helped you guys out. You see exactly how you can recharge your items. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. I'd love to help. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.